Well, folks, I think it's time for a good old fight. You know, whether it is boxing or wrestling, we're always up for some good competition and some trash talking. And into the ring, Ecamm Live and Switcher Studio. That's right. In today's video, we're going to put these two iOS live streaming options to the test to see which one of them comes out on top. Who do you think is going to win? You'll have to join the video to see. Hey everybody, it is your girl Coach Cheryl and welcome or welcome back to my channel. On this channel, I create content to help make social media, live streaming and online ministry super easy for small churches, ministries, nonprofits, Christian entrepreneurs, so that you can show up beautifully and powerfully online. If you have not already, I'm going to invite you to join the family. And how do you do that? All you have to do is click that subscribe button. Also, be sure to hit the notification bell so you know when I drop a new video every week. Also, feel free and please do hit the like button. That lets me and YouTube know that you like the content and I can continue to create this content for you. So let's dive in to this week's topic. If you're a Mac user in the live streaming community, you probably already know all about these two contenders. But for those of you who aren't, in this video, we're going to weigh the pros and cons of each of the software options and let the features battle it out. So let's jump into the ring. And coming first into the ring is Ecamm Live. So let's talk about some of the pros of Ecamm Live. Ecamm Live offers custom branding. That means you can do overlays, countdown clocks, add lower thirds, scriptures, all of the additional graphic features that you see in most of the other software options. Also with Ecamm Live, you can have 4K streaming. Now most social media platforms won't allow you to stream in 4K, but you can do 4K recording so that when you upload it, you have a better video quality. Ecamm Live also has virtual cam and virtual mic that allows you to go into things like Zoom and Microsoft Teams and still have all of the beautiful backgrounds, all the graphics that you can bring into a software that doesn't typically allow you to have all the fancy bells and whistles. Ecamm Live also allows you to do live interviews with people in remote locations. You can have up to four guests using Ecamm Live interview mode. I also love that you can add pre-recorded video into Ecamm Live without limitation of file size. That is very important because graphic files are heavy files and Ecamm Live allows you just to drop them into your broadcast live. Yes, live. Another feature for Ecamm is you can actually edit live in the app, which is a beautiful thing that you can edit on the fly. You can make changes on the fly and nobody knows that you're doing it behind the scenes until you push it live. I love that feature. I've had to use it. It's been a lifesaver. So those are the pros for Ecamm Live. Now let's jump into some of the cons. As I mentioned at the top of this video, Ecamm is a Mac iOS only software. So for all of our PC users, Ecamm Live is not an option for you. The second con is there is a steeper learning curve with Ecamm Live than there is with Switcher Studio. Even though it is super simple to use, there are more options, more things that you can do with Ecamm. That means there's more that you have to learn how to do because it is a more full-bodied, robust software. So the learning curve is a little bit steeper than with Switcher Studio. And the third con is that there is no multi-streaming option that is embedded within Ecamm. You have to use an additional software piece like your Restreams to be able to stream to multiple platforms at the same time. Talk about Stop the Presses. Ecamm Live now has multi-streaming embedded in its software. Yay for us. This is a good thing. Now back to our regularly scheduled programming. And let's talk about pricing. Ecamm Live is only $32 a month, which I think is a wonderful price. The benefits far, far outweigh the cost. And I'll just throw a plug in right here that Ecamm Live is less expensive then switch your studio and gives you more options. More for less. More for less. You do the math. I'll let you make that decision. But before we 
jump into Switch Your Studio, I want to know, does your church live stream? And if you do, what software do you use? Let me know in the comments. I'm always looking for great software options and our community wants to know as well. So drop those software options in the comments. Let's jump into Switcher Studio and talk about the benefits of Switcher Studio. Switcher Studio is my top for ease of use. It is so simple to use because it is touch based. Because you're going to be using iPads and iPhones with Switcher Studio, you're going to simply touch the option that you want. You're going to touch your iPad to say, I want to do this next. And you're going to touch the option to say, bring on the lower third. So it is so simple, especially for volunteer base. That is one of the pros. And just like with Ecamm Live, Switcher Studio also allows you to invite guests. You can invite up to five interview guests onto the platform. Now, I will say that's one more than you can do with Ecamm Live. You can also edit live in the app for Switcher Studio. You can add in the graphics, the lower thirds, the scriptures to do split screens. All of that you can do also inside Switcher Studio. You can stream almost anywhere. And Switcher Studio does have a multi-streaming option. You can stream up to at least two places at the same time. You can bring in on-screen comments. You can make local recordings. Switcher Studio allows you to upload 250 assets to the cloud. Now, there is a limit on the file side, but that is a great option to be able to store all of those graphic assets on the cloud and not on your local computer. So now, let's jump into some of the cons of Switcher Studio. One of the cons is there's a limited file size to what you can upload to Switcher Studio. That means some of your heavier graphic files, your countdown clocks, you won't be able to use inside of those. So those beautiful pre-made countdown clocks that you see some people using, you won't be able to use those in Switcher Studio because the file size is just too large. And because it's a cloud-based app, there's a limited amount of space that you get to host your graphic files. You get 250, but if you use a lot of graphics, a lot of countdown clocks, a lot of mini movies. Um, that may be an issue as you'll have to continuously cycle through to be able to make full use of that space that you get. And anybody that works in the graphics world knows that space, storage space is necessary. It is priority. You need it, but it's limited on Switcher Studio. And the third and final con, it's more expensive. It is $49 a month versus the $34 a month for Ecamm Live. So even though it is great, it is easy to use, the price is a little bit more. And in my opinion, you get a little bit less than you do with Ecamm Live. I hope you enjoyed that head-to-head -head of Ecamm Live and Switcher Studio. Now, let me give this disclaimer. I believe that they are both very good, robust live streaming software options for churches. Either one of them is going to work beautifully for you. Now, while my preference may be Ecamm Live, you may like Switcher Studio better. It may work better because of the ease of use for it. But whichever one you choose, they're both great options. And I'm going to also put links down in the description box as to where you can go ahead and grab those free trials for both. They both have a 14-day free trial, Ecamm Live and Switcher Studio. So I'll put the link in the description box to get those free trials. I would admonish you to do it. Try it before you buy it to see which one works best for you. And if your church is looking for additional tools to help you stand out on social media, you're going to want to grab my free resource, the top five unbeatable social media ideas for churches. There is a link in the description as well where you can go ahead and get that free resource so that you can begin to stand out and dominate your space on social media. And if you're still on the fence about which live streaming software option to use, I did another head-to-head -head video on Ecamm Live and StreamYard. You're going to want to check out that video here. It's going to help you wade through all of your options to decide which one, which live streaming option is best for you.
Thanks so much for watching. And if you haven't already joined the family, I want you to go ahead and do that now. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, do not forget to click that notification bell so that you'll know when I drop a video every week. Thanks again, and I will see you in the next video.